Tinkercad tips. Well, it appears that the great folks at Autodesk have made yet another change to Tinkercad, and this has to do with the color of objects once they're grouped together. Now, it used to be when two objects were grouped together, for instance, let's slide these two together, and if I were to select them, these two, when grouped together, would become the color of whichever item I selected first. For instance, I could select this red box, then shift select the blue one. Notice this says red, but if I group them, now they happen to stay multicolor. Note up here, this says multicolor. And if I unselect that, now it goes back to the behavior it was before, where it's the color of the first object that I selected. Let's ungroup that for a minute. Let's reverse it. Let's select the blue one first, then shift select the red one. I'm going and note here that this is blue. I'm going to go ahead and click on group. It's now multicolor. The blue is the predominant. And again, if I unselect multicolor, now it's all blue again. Let's add a third one into the mix here. Let's ungroup that. Let's bring out this orange cylinder. Bring that into play. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to lasso select all three of these. Now note, it says in this case that the orange was the first one that was selected. But if I group them together, they stay multicolor. And note that the orange is the one that shows through the other colors. Again, if I unselect multicolor, now they all become orange. Let's do this a little differently. Let's select the red first, then shift select blue, shift select the orange cylinder. Note this says red, and if I click group, note that the top of the red object is what comes through. It's multicolor, and if I deselect multicolor, now they'll all be red. So, that's been a little change in another update from the great folks at Autodesk. Questions, comments, drop those down below in the comments, or if you have more ideas for Tinkercad tips, you can always DM me. And, happy tinkering!